Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to Chapter 2 of Let's Play Dragon Quest IV! In this chapter, we are being put in charge of Elena. And she's a tomboy princess because, as we all know, all princesses in JRPGs are tomboys and hate their father. Absolutely! Boria, huh? We're Russian in this chapter. The Tsar, huh? And... Apparently the accents are much improved in this chapter, too. All right. Nuts. Well, that sounds like a boring mission. Yes! Because I'm a JRPG princess. What did you expect? You signed up for this job. Oh, well, okay. Oh, well, do the best I can. Yeah, apparently in order to give everyone Russian accents, instead of having a Scottish accent that's hard to read, they just make everyone speak broken English in this chapter, so... Seems rather condescending to me, but... It's easier to read, so we're moving in the right direction with making the text actually legible. Oh, I'm teasing, but yeah. <laughs> they didn't have these accents in the NES version of the game. But as we all know, when someone tells you not to do something in a JRPG, you must then therefore go do it. But anyway, let's go. Well, okay, we're raiding our own treasure, so I suppose this is okay. We're not raiding someone else's treasure, but here we get the feathered cap. And it's a piece of headgear for women. So, all right, let's give that to her. That's even in the NES version of the game, by the way, so it's not like something new they added here to make it a little easier. No, they had that in the original, so that's pretty nice. Now, I think to progress with the chapter, you have to talk to everyone, or maybe it's only a few people. I I don't know exactly. So, uh, but I'm just going to go by Star Traffic Syndrome anyway. So, we got some locked doors around here. How can we get past them? Here's Kiro, or Christo, in the NES version of the game. Not being too subtle there, are you, Kiro? Uh, apparently this guy we can't save with, though. Not that it really matters, we just saved a couple minutes ago, but still. Well, let's, uh, read a book on prayer. Why not? Uh, yeah, way to be settled there, game. I heard they made a reference to that. Well, let's just, I'll just tell you. He has a crush on her. They, they don't really make anything of it, but, uh... But I heard they made a reference to that in uh, Dragon Quest IX. I never got that far in the game to get that reference or something. But, well, that's to that. What do you mean, evacuate to my chain? What does that even mean? I know what evacuate means, but I mean, that seems like the opposite. Uh, that seems like they're using that in the opposite context. Or whatever. Doesn't evacuate mean to leave your room in this case? I, I don't know. Well, what do you mean? Oh, him. Yeah, pretty much. Well, let's collect some more treasure from the kitchen. Medicalers, what is that doing in the kitchen? What are you going to do? Throw that into your food? Maybe it's got a nice spicy taste to it. I don't know. But... Okay, well, I think we've talked to everyone, so... Oh, yeah, and they got little pictures here you can look at. Nice little detail there. I wish they would make, like, a picture pop up on your screen or something so you could see the picture, but... Ah, whatever. But, well, nothing we can do, but... Might as well just go into our room and pout? Ah, looks like the guy fixed the wall there. Yes. Yeah, this is being done automatically. I'm not doing this again. Or, viewers. Whoa! Look at that damage! The, the physical damage, not the numbers. But. Aww, she has a kitty on the roof. But if you go around here, you can find some money! Yay! Yeah, you find little sparks on the ground like that that indicate an item or some money or whatever, periodically. Hmm, door's locked over there. Uh-oh! They caught me. We're screwed. They're going to take me back into the castle. Well, hey, hey, sounds like a great idea. Oh, yeah, Borea's name is Bray in the NES version, but... All right, more party members! So 
So yeah, unlike chapter one, we're actually gonna get multiple permanent party members, not just a monster or a guest that's only temporary. So that's pretty nice. Let's take a look at what we got here. We start with Elena, who is basically the fighter class of the game. She'll start with normal weapons, but she gets a lot of strength and agility in the game. And then we got Chris Kirill, or Krista, who is the priest, or the healer of the game. He gets the heal spell, so that's pretty nice. And he can do some good stuff with weapons. Then we got Borea, who's like the wizard or black mage of the game. He'll get a bunch of spells. Not too good on defense or attack power, but he gets crack! That's amazing! No, no, that's just the Ice Bolt spell from the NES version. You gotta admit, Crack is a better name for the Ice Bolt spell. You gotta give this version that, viewers. But I guess it cracks ice over the enemy's heads or something? Uh, I don't know. You got me on that one, but... Well, let's visit the town right next to the castle and hope no one will report me. Well, here's the local inn. I don't think you can talk to that guy behind the desk there. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, we got a level grind. Not much, just a little bit. Start out a little weak. You can beat the first boss of the chapter without grinding. It's very hard, but it can be done. But anyway, here is the armor shop. What I want to do is we want to get a leather shield for Kirill and Borea. And I'd also like to get a leather armor for Kirill eventually. Uh, that's not my top priority, but that would be nice. You could skip it if you wanted to, but it does make life a lot easier. So, I'm going to do it, but you don't have to. Oh, wow. Well, try to get whatever I can. I don't know any Russian jokes or Soviet Russia or, or anything like that, so... Uh, sorry, viewers, you're, you're not going to hear any from me. Don't really know much about that sort of thing. What does Gav mean? I don't know. But anyway, over here, we get a seat of agility. All right. I'm going to save that for later. I don't want to use it on any of my existing party members. But for now, first things first, I need a little more money. So let's sell the holy water. There. It gives just enough gold for what I want. And, well, we need a weapon for Elena there. So what I want to do is buy a weapon for Kirill. Absolutely. But yeah, Increase his attack power a little bit, so that's pretty nice. And then, what I want to do is take Kirill's uh, Oaken Club, give that to Elena there. So just hand it down to her, or hand it up to her, I guess. And now she can deal some decent damage. All right. And there's nothing up there. I wonder why they have those stairs there. There's nothing there uh, at now or at nighttime. Really, there's not much interesting in at nighttime, at least in this town. And the next one, I think, too. So I'm not going to show... Talk to everyone here at nighttime. I, there's just nothing that's that different. Huh. I like how in the NES version of the game, uh, they're actually... They openly say they're attracted to each other. Hmm. Remember that guy for later. But yeah, like, she says, Oh no, I'm too old for you. Or... Or something like... Because she's a nun, she can't have a relationship with him, or something like that. So let's check out the next town there that we were told about. And we got some new enemies here, but they're pretty bland. Nothing too special about them. Let's have those two attack the single one. Now, I could use the crack spell, but for right now, Borea, being a wizard, he's pretty weak. So, and these enemies are pretty weak too, so uh, Elena and Kirill can take care of them. Borea leave him defending for now, unless you got like an enemy that has a lot of HP, then you could use crack on them. By the way, your formation determines how... Yeah, we want to use crack on this guy. Your formation determines how often a character will get attacked. Characters towards the front will take more or get attacked more often. Characters towards the back will get attacked less often. So, just something to keep in mind. And here we got she slimes. Well, apparently the red slimes from the previous games are the, are the ones who are female. Someone was telling me that during the uh, the first Dragon Warrior LP I made. Well, now we know! So that's how slimes procreate. Well, we'll learn more about that later. But, alright, we gained a level already. Can we make it? Yes! Alright, there we go. And this is the village of Toborov. 
maybe I could make uh, Pavel Chekhov jokes in this chapter. Not that I really know any, but... So that little sparkle there? It's a seed of life, all right. I may want to use it on Kirill or Borea, but I want to see how their HP progresses over uh, while I'm getting the gold, or gaining levels while getting the gold for the equipment there. Oh, no. Well, let's see what's going on around here. Got no children getting kidnapped this time around. Sacrifice? What's going on? Nuts. Alright, more seeds of agility that I'm not going to use. Elena gets a lot of agility. So does Borea, too. He gets, well, not as much, but he does get pretty good agility in this game. Nuts. Well, the shops are closed here, so let's see if there's anything down this well. Hey, hey! Looks like there's something there. Ooh! A mini metal. They're, which are the small metals in the NES version of the game. They, well, they do stuff later in the game, but we'll get to that when we get to that point. But you see, we can keep track of them there. It doesn't take up a spot in our inventory. Uh, that mini metal is not there in the NES version of the game. Just so you know, you don't get your first mini metal and or small metal until much later in the game. So, and we won't get any more in this version of the game either for quite some time. But here we get a leather hat. All right, let's give that to Kirill to boost his defense a little bit. Uh, Kirill or Borea cannot equip the the feathered hat, so that only goes to Elena there. But anyway, yeah, apparently they've got virgin sacrifices going on here. Sorry, no one can help you. You're screwed. No, no, you don't want to say yes to him until... Until you're ready, let's put it that way. I'm not ready yet. But I figured I might as well show off the village as long as I get a little extra time today. Oh. Nuts. Well, you had a perfectly elderly woman there. Yeah, I guess she likes virgins, apparently. But, oh well. Well, let's see what they got going on around here. Really? Huh. Remember that for later, viewers. Nah, I'm sure those places don't exist. Just talking out of your ass there. No. Nah. No. Nah. But, uh, let's see. Anything else around here? No, nah, I think that's everything. Item shop's closed for now because of the monsters. And unfortunately, at this church, you cannot save. Even in the NES version of the game. So... Oh well, not much else we can do there. But can we save the village of Tabora from the monster? Or will we be sent to the Boo Box? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest IV! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!